What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and Tanya! I'm back with another freaking video. So, I know I haven't been on here in a while, man. I honestly have been working on my couples channel with my beloved TT, okay? Uh, also, my reaction channel, Royalties World Reaction. I'll make sure y'all go subscribe over there and on the couples channel. Also, before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share over here as well. So as y'all can see from the title, I simply want to speak about 2020 and what it has done for me. I made a video like this already. I was eating. I was like, nah, um, I don't want to. I want to be clear with my message. I don't want to go into 2019 and all the bad. I want to just speak about the good. You know what I'm saying? So 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people. Um, really for all of us, you know what I'm saying? Some just had it. For some of us, it woke us up. For some of us, it pissed us off. You know what I'm saying? Um, this was just one of those years. You know, a lot of crime and a lot of um, health issues and a lot of, you know, people losing their lives. Rest in peace to anybody that passed away in this moment. Um, just a lot of unfortunate situations in this year, right? Then you have some situations that were very fortunate in this year. A lot of people found who they are. You get what I'm saying? And found out that they can take, um, they can take what's going on in this world. You know, when it comes to, cause basically y'all COVID to <clears throat> see it to me was a natural disaster period. Um, it just hit us out of nowhere, you know? And when COVID first hit, first of all, I was doing videos without Wi-Fi. I just wanna <laughs> shout myself out about that because boy, um, it was hard trying to even put a video out. Um, where I was living at, I could not <clears throat> access Wi-Fi um, in the building in general. Um, it was, you know, I was staying with other people's noise in the house. It just wasn't, it just was not going where it was supposed to go for me. So I could not put out any content. At least that's how I felt. So. When you're not putting out content, you feel like you're not doing anything as a creator. So I just felt defeated a lot of times. And instead of me quitting, I decided to just work through it. So I found other ways, like let me go to Starbucks, use their Wi-Fi. Starbucks end up closing. Let me find a friend, see if I can upload over there. Or even if I can film over there, adding people into my videos, things like that. I just came up with another way, you know. And um, I ended up getting an apartment. <clears throat> Got an apartment, you know, had Wi-Fi, you know, and I had to build back up what I already had, you know, but I lost. Had to build that back up again and um, ended up getting everything I pretty much need. Literally, I have everything I need um, to take care of my videos and my content and things like that. But I also needed a clear mind and you know, this year started off with me being, shit. I was probably about 230, 230 pounds. Um, ended up losing 50 pounds. Um, well, no, this year did not start off with that. It took a year. This year it hit for me to lose almost 60 pounds and completely change my mind, completely change my thoughts, completely just change everything. I want to tell y'all, I, I started, <clears throat> I unfollowed people that were diminishing my timeline. And you know, a lot of people wake up in the morning and go straight to their phone. People don't even realize how much, how much you're putting on your brain from when you wake up. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, you wake up, you go straight to your phone, you see what happened last night. Somebody died, um, COVID, uh, somebody got hit by a car it's just the the internet this year woke me up um so i decided to transfer you know the energy that i allowed into my mind and into uh my body in general and that comes with meat i quit meat um i quit uh well i quit chicken beef 
and pork. Um, I dib and dab now, but I quit it cold turkey for a reason. Um, completely changed my thoughts. When I stopped eating meat, it completely changed my thoughts. When I, I started unfollowing people that, you know, meant me no good on my timeline. And I started to follow a lot of trainers, a lot of motivational speakers. And when I wake up in the morning, they promoting the product, they uh, working out, uh, drinking a smoothie, uh, some motivational sp speeches at 7 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what else? Something I seen this morning, I forgot. But everything just, I made my timeline motivational for a reason. That helped with my brain. Also manifesting. Um, people just wake up in the morning and manifest on their lap. You know what I'm saying? I am beautiful. I am great. You know, I will never be broke another day in my life. Shout out to Coach Stormy. Uh, she really, really, really helped with my thoughts during COVID. And, you know, at this point I'm just venting. But I'm just letting y'all know that's where I've been. This year, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for everything I have. I'm grateful for everything I lost. Because everything that I lost was just so... It was worth everything I have today. Um, and 2020 is about to end. 2021 about to come in. We don't know if we, we going in it or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, if we're going to transform into a whole nother dimension on the 31st. I don't know what's going on. But I tell you what. I'm not afraid whatever it is what it is i'm just rolling with the punches at this point you know what i'm saying but i'm making sure i add some order to it <laughs> you know um i just wanted to speak about you know the highlights of this year for me um i learned so much i learned videography um just you know bringing out bringing out the good in someone else's movie you know or or or, or directing someone else's movie um that definitely was something that i love this year because i didn't even know that i could do that you know what i'm saying i felt like i couldn't even get myself any content how can i get somebody else that but uh i dealt with a couple rich people that gave me a chance and they loved it and you know it was just amazing to me i i contemplated quitting reaction videos which is crazy because now everybody's doing reaction. Your favorite YouTuber's doing reaction videos. But reactions are for a reason. If I'm gonna sit at home and watch it for free, I might as well, you know, pay a bill with it. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's watching the same thing, so everybody's commenting on the same thing. Might as well make a video about it. Um, I didn't quit. <clears throat> I, I sacrificed this year. I sacrificed all my unmastered things that I was doing. Everything that was not mastered, I quit it. I cut it off. Completely cut it off. And I put my all into YouTube. And it is paying off so far. Um, it will continue to pay off because that's I've manifested greatness for myself, for this channel, for my other channels. I've manifested greatness in my life in general. I am great. I am grateful. I am beautiful. I am uh, a warrior. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower and I will never be broke another day in my life. Listen, a lot of people, you know, when you say I never be broke again, people used to always say, never say again. And that is so crazy because you fixing your mind to have a plan B and I don't want a plan B. You don't have to have a plan B if your plan is going into motion. And the only way your plan is going to go into motion is when you put it into motion, but you have to believe. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just speaking at this point. I, I didn't know what I was going to say when I got on this video, but I'm just talking and I'm going to upload it. I'm not editing it. It's just, you know, certain things that were put, that was put into our mind, we have to unlearn and relearn how to um, do what we're supposed to do. You know, do what we were brought here to do. We all have talents that we're supposed to be using. And when you know you have one, work on it. I wanna, this is also a message to some people that feel defeated. It's a lot of people that feel defeated that message me, you know, and admire the fact that I 
am in the process of bouncing back from where I came from um, with where I was in my life. And it's simply this. People going to talk about you to the day you die anyway, right? I don't care how inspirational this video is. Somebody's going to have a hate comment in here. Somebody going to have something to say. And guess what? Control, alt, delete. I'm going to block you simply. That's it. I'm not going to respond to you. I'm going to like the comments of the good people because a lot of people um, think that they're looking in the mirror when they see you. <laughs> they look at us YouTubers or, us, or celebrities or whatever and think they're looking in the mirror when something happens because they want to speak on their situation. And that may have been your perception, but you got it wrong. So with me, I honestly don't even know where I was going, but emotional intelligence for me this year was the grand finale. I, this is where I'm going with this. Emotional intelligence has been everything to me this year. It ain't been about no money. It has not been about no clout. It ain't been about no check. Uh-uh. Emotional intelligence? was everything for me. With emotional intelligence, what you simply have to do is ignore the bad and continue being focused on the good. You know, um, emotional intelligence is seeing the good in the bad. You know, my brother always told me, you know, my daddy may talk a lot, but it's a message behind everything he's saying you need to listen. So this year I learned to listen more, you know. Um, it's just a lot of good things that happened for me mentally this year that I'm so grateful for. And it helps to put a smile on my face and I, I'm even more grateful for that. You know, so <clears throat> I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know the end is near. The year is almost over with. I don't have to apologize to anybody. <laughs> this year, last year, I had to apologize to a lot of people. This year, I don't have to apologize to anyone. Not even to myself. I feel like I I did a great deed this year in general for myself. I mean, hell, just losing 60 pounds for me was enough. You know, um, I've been honest with anyone around me. And uh, whether you liked it or not, you that's what you got. You know, you got the honesty from me. Um, and I wish everybody nothing but the best. Greatness, prosperity, girl, everything. I pr Every night I pray for my friends, my family, and my enemies, you know. Uh, I've learned to pray more as well this year. I'm just giving y'all about a 15 minute video of what's been going on with me and I'm just excited. You know, uh, <clears throat> 2020 and beyond, things will be amazing this way. Um, it will be order. I will, uh, I will master everything that I know how to do. Um, and I simply will be the best version of me that I can be. <clears throat> And everybody ain't gonna like that. Everybody's not gonna accept that, but I don't have anything to do with everybody. You get what I'm saying? Um, whatever issues you have with me, that is your problem. That's that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Can't even talk. And in 2020. Uh, but I always do like a video at the end of the year, and just speaking about my life and how my year went. It was freaking amazing. Um, and I'm just ready to to go to the next year. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And you should be too. A uh, message that I want to give before I leave this video is work with what you have. Um, that was a major key in my life this year. Work with what you have. And there's no no in this world. You can get anything you want. A, you have to believe it. B, you have to manifest it. And C, you have to see through it. So, simply use what you have. Accept your progress. Be grateful. And elevate. That's it. That's all. Uh, I, I would, I don't want to give y'all a schedule on what I'm about to start putting on this channel. I want to make it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm working on becoming more, more creative in my content alone. So that's going to be my test on this channel. Um, 
just putting out content that I enjoy, that I want y'all to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just gonna think outside the box on this one. Uh, but that is all that I have to say. Y'all expect some videos from me. Uh, hopefully you support if you don't. So unfollow button somewhere, unsubscribe, wherever it's at. Help yourself. I don't even have to show you where it is. Make sure you unsubscribe. You don't have to be here. And I, you know what? I'm glad you came. Um, I just want y'all to know, and to the people that support me, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Y'all have been amazing throughout these years of me being on YouTube. You know, and honestly, I think this is the best video I've done with punctuation. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty clear. I know what I want to say. I'm saying it, and I'm about to end it. All right. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We're on to the next video.